Welcome back everybody. My name is Dragagon and this is Greg Tech New Horizons. So today's been kind of a bust day for me. Um, I've been trying to do a bunch of things and they haven't really been working out. Um, added to my list, I need to make four MV combustion generators, uh, the advanced combustion generators, because right now my um, uh, my EBF is sitting underneath uh, the uh, boiler uh, drawing power away it conflicts with the power that I need for my pyrolyzed oven so I put a battery buffer on it so that I could slowly start making more aluminum so that I can work on those combustion generators the problem is that uh, in order to make more of them I also need those chips and the chips require gallium arsenide, gallium arsenide requires gallium, and gallium requires either experience or the crushed zinc ore from the nether or bees. Um, so the experience is kind of slow for me, so I tried building an experience berry farm on top of my peanut farm and uh, that basically was a flop. It, it did not ever harvest any of the experience berries and I didn't want to go through the effort of making a whole nother farm just to try out uh, those experience berries. I probably need another farm anyway for the glowstone um, plants, uh, but I don't want to tackle that right this minute. Um, so then I was saving up the experience berries that I got in order to get 40 experience, 40 levels of experience, so that I could uh, duplicate my Fortune 3 book. It's then that I realized that to use the Fortune 3 book, if I want to put it, uh, enchant any of the bags, you need another item with it. So you need clay or resin or LV pumps or an industrial diamond. Um, the magic stuff requires either niter or purifying bath salts. Um, I don't have the blood, uh, blood magic stuff yet. Um, uh, the forest ranger bag requires these wax capsules. It just a whole bunch of stuff that you need to have in order to enchant these bags with the Fortune 3 in order to get them to work properly. So I decided to heck with that. I'm not going to bother with that. I'll keep, uh, I did keep one of the experience books here as well as one on top of my typesetter uh, so that in the future if I want to I can do that. But at least for right now I'm not going to bother with the Fortune 3 book. Um, instead, uh, I was going to go ahead and make today a loot bag day. So I do have a couple of uh, loot bags that came enchanted for completing quests, and I have two empty uh, diamond chests so that I can uh, open all of these loot bags and see what they hold. So uh, that's what today's episode is going to be, is me opening a bunch of loot bags and putting them into the chests so that I can see what I get and maybe I'll actually get some halfway decent loot that'll help me out with uh, other things. Otherwise, they're just sitting in a chest doing absolutely nothing for me but taking up space. So let's begin. First advanced bees bag gives me a bunch of saplings. Second one gave, ooh, gave me a Bealizer and an Ender Pearl. And the third one gives me some string and some apples. All right. Uh, the next one, we'll do the fast food one real quick. That one gave me, ooh, a potash apple. That's kind of good. Uh, you don't want to eat that. You actually want to use that. And I believe, yeah, it gives you a little bit of fertilizer in the extractor. Uh, so... Um, the trees that this guy comes off of come from the nether. Uh, that's even better. Some appetite dust and some water and you'll get half a stack of fertilizer and a little bit of phosphorus dust. Uh, the phosphorus dust that you can then turn around with some other appetite and make even more fertilizer. So that'll be good. All right, next let's go with, ah, sure, the basic bees. First bag, eight silky combs, not bad. Next one, some different saplings. Third one, ooh, Apiaris pants and some pressure plates, not bad. Fourth one, ooh, Apiaris shoes and a couple more pressure plates and some bowls. And the fourth one, I get four untreated frames. That's not half bad. Having those two already out of the out of the uh, set of uh, Apiary 
uh, close. That would go well just to put it by itself. I think I can also add it into, oh, it's not showing me anything for any eye. Um, I believe you can actually add those to the dark armor. So that'll be cool. All right, let's go with, uh, sure, we'll go with my Steam Age bags. I've only got a little over half a stack of them. First one, Hush Puppies and a book. Second one, water and some beeswax. Ooh, 10 steel rods, I'll definitely take those. Lapis Lazuli pouch, a full set of Namakon's chain. Huh. That might be pretty interesting. Protection and feather falling, unbreaking. Not bad. Aqua affinity. Okay. Slap those guys in there. I might have to wear that stuff. Salt ore and a spawn squid egg. Alright. Arrows and a furnace. Spawn a wolf. Some food and spawn a chicken. More food and wheat. A wolf and a sheep. A <laughs> wolf in sheep's clothing. I wonder. Veggie sandwich. Two emeralds and eight bowls. Don't really need the bowls. Don't really need the emeralds either, oddly enough. Some fired clay buckets and some more hush puppies. Ooh, a Damascus steel hammer and some more bowls. Copper ore and a cheese sandwich. Four gunpowder. 16 arrows. And then, ooh, there it is right there. There's that dark wood sapling. Uh, it produces the chalky apples. If you can get one of those guys to grow and, uh, and harvest the uh, potash apples out of that thing, that is very handy. Oops, what did I get that time? Seeds, all right. And my veins catch fire again. Huzzah. Ooh, I saw some torches and spawning an ocelot. Cheese sandwiches and melons. Another set of saplings and some bread. Okay, I'll definitely take that stuff. Shrimp, pork, okra, hush puppies, and some pressure plates. Brick, bronze hull, and some emeralds. Bloodwood door and mushroom stew. Copper ore and another furnace. Eight more bowls. A redstone ore and a spawn squid egg. Eight more seeds. Spawn a horse. A meat feast pizza. Not bad. Ooh, a block of gold. Four hoppers and an iron ore. That's not bad. 16 fire brick and spawn a pig. All right, well, that does it for all of my Steam Age bags. Let's take a look at the basic Stone Age bags 64 wood, all the dyes plus a set of baked potatoes. Oh, that's going to be a mess. Let's just stick the dyes in here. And the other two in there. Some Vindaloo and some tracks. Bone and a leather tunic. Some fired clay pots. Beet salads. Uh, a bunch of um, Z-Tones bricks. Okay, that's not too bad. Another mess of dyes. Some beef jerky and potatoes. Summer radish salad, some wheat, more saplings. Good, I will take more saplings, specifically the darkwood sapling. More dyes and some charcoal. The nice thing about the dyes is that I can actually take these things and I believe I can use them in the mixer with glowstone to make Illumar, which those some of these will be fantastic for making uh, not having to make stuff with Illamar, specifically the blue dye, the orange dye, and the lime dye, because those are for stock keepers, 
extractors and crafting chips respectively. Oh, some more Z-Tones bricks and a little bit more coal. Oh, I guess the coal, no. Oh well, that's all right. Some sugar donuts and onion soup. Ooh, glass. I will always take glass. And more glass. Okay. So there we go. Now we're all the way through all of those. Let's see here. So that's tier four, tier three, tier two, tier two uh, doubled. Let me go ahead and sleep real quick just to get make sure that I don't get attacked while we're going through all this. Because they can spawn on top of my um, on top of my forestry farm because I've got just plain uh, uh, dirt up there. I don't have it uh, hoed down into forest. All right. So forest ranger basic. I get two bronze tubes. I'll take that. Four peat. Okay. Mushroom stew. Some of those other saplings. 64 larch wood, 64 winge wood, a leather cap, 64 ebony wood, and another leather cap. Okay, not fantastic, but does all right. Oh, I guess those aren't normally supposed to stack. Huh, interesting. All right, well, let's eat a couple of them then, simply because their bowls will stack, and because I'm low on food. A little bit of lag there from the game. There we go. All four of you guys there. All right, that did it for those bags. Magic Novice. Let's hope we get something good here. Some more saplings. Leather pants and more Z-Tones bricks. Ooh, a warded jar and eight of every shard. That's nice. I do like that. Some Quicksilver and some pressure plates. Some directional ascension tubes and baked potatoes. Some more Quicksilver and some more bowls. Okay, bowls can go in here. Baked potatoes, those guys, the other three have to go in here. So there we go with those. Up next, let's do the MV1s. Three diesel cells and two, four red alloy wires. Oh, very nice. Eight large fluid cells. And that just completed, what is that? Is that a tier two quest? Where were those? Yes, it was a tier two quest right there. And that'll get me four more and some coins. I will take that. Oh. There we go. All right, up next. Mm. I'm actually going to work backwards. I'm going to start with the tier four ones. A slime sapling. And some more of the saplings there. Next, the tier three loot bag. An electric motor and some paper. Ooh, 16 basic capacitors, fantastic. I had already started that quest uh, over here with the machine chassis to make four basic capacitors. I just had not made the four machine chassis to finish that quest yet in order to get some of that, but just getting 16 more basic capacitors is fantastic. Some bone meal and wheat. Some, oh, duct tape and some ladders. And that will work on that quest. Multi-block goals, this guy. So there's that. All I would need to do is finish the rest of that stuff. Oh, I can't put any of that stuff there. So let's throw it in here. There we go. Four circuits. Two nickelback seeds and some levers. Very nice. Oh, eight electronic circuits. That is phenomenal. Some manganese ingots. Some more saplings. 
a muffler upgrade. Four farm gearboxes. That's one less thing to make. Ooh, four soul frames. Those will be good for um, for uh, my beehives. Oh, eight more electronic circuits. Thank you very much. Iron vanishing frame. Oh, from Malice's doors. Those are pretty cool. The vanishing frames uh, to make uh, doorways that uh, uh, you can have sensors and stuff or levers, and when you hit them, the block actually disappears so that you can completely seal your house. A creative tool modifier for tinkers. All right. Some arrows. Some polyethylene sheets, definitely make use of those. Some coated circuit boards. Ooh, oh, a basic capacitor from Ender IO. Very nice. That'll be a nice battery buffer. Ooh, an elevator and an advanced macerator. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, very nice. The advanced macerator will make it so that I can collect two more good circuits if I want it, or I could do a bag. Ooh, after getting that, I don't know which of the two I'd want. Circuits is guaranteed, but the bag might give me something good. Uh, I'm just going to go for the circuits. I might regret that choice later. I really want those circuits, though. Uh, let's put all of these guys away. There we go. A digger's backpack and a bee house. Okay. Okay. Oh, an apiary. <laughs> That's nice. Another muffler upgrade and a block of redstone. Weighted pressure plate and beeswax. What did I get that time? Something went into my digger's backpack? Oh, 20 obsidian. Argentia seeds and some mine tracks. What did I get that time? Redstone torches. Okay. More redstone torches. And another bee house. A bucket. <laughs> Six more levers. Two energy conduits. All right. That's interesting. More Z-tone blocks. That's two stacks of those guys I've gotten now. Some bread. Oh, and some levers. And eight electric motors. Okay. All right. Down to the last bit, which are these tier two LV loot bags. Some vacuum tubes and some farm blocks. Food. Standard minecart hull in case you wanted to do more Steve's cart. A wooden minecart hull for Steve's cart. Food. Food and some tin cables. Saplings. Especially those guys. Arrows and a dolly. A basic macerator. That might be useful. Eight string. Side chests and some more food. More vacuum tubes, a uh, a Nemo. Okay. Some wooden pressure plates. A diamond saw blade. I'll take that. And some more Z-tone blocks. All right, let's put all that stuff away. All right. Some more food. A bookend quill. Another bloodwood door. A tank and some oak fence. A lever and some booster track. Another dolly and some torches. Another electronic circuit and some apples. Fired clay and a cheeseburger. Coal and fence. More side chests, 
the basic woodcutter that, that would have been nice to have opened before I got into Steve's card stuff internal storage ooh resistors to make some more electronic circuits glass tubes for more vacuum tubes food and a maple sapling and oh look some other saplings there we go see if any of this stuff doubles up in there Okay, Let's see if any of this stuff doubles up in there. All right, well, I am just about out of backpack space, so I may have to save the other 35 of these guys for later or do it another time or try and organize this mess of stuff that I now have. An open blocks fan. Try and do a few more here. Bone meal. More resistors, excellent. Tiny coal engine and a baked potato. Some more food. Oh, more book and quill, and I guess I shouldn't have picked that up. <laughs> Last one. A simple PCB. All right. Well, that was quite the amount of loot in order to... Uh, in order to figure out what I want to do. There you can see I pulled up my essence berries and I have just a ton of essence berry seeds uh, to plant um, that I, from when I was pulling them up and out of the uh, dirt farmland. Uh, so yeah, I'd say I had a pretty decent run of stuff right there like that. And I still have 28 loot bags left to go. Uh, that big one was getting a hold of that advanced macerator. So uh, once I get a bit more organized, maybe you'll see me back in here yet again, and we can um, maybe go through uh, some more loot bags. Um, but uh, in any case, i uh, see you after a while. And I'm back. I cleaned up a little bit of stuff, organized a few things, put a few things away where they were supposed to go. So I figured now would be a good time to open up some of the rest of this stuff. So take a look at things here. I really don't need that many bowls, guys. <laughs> uh, more Steve's cart stuff that I think is worthless. Um, I did my Steve's cart thing, had it running for a while. I don't do my wood cutting anymore that way, so that's just kind of... You know, I'm done with it. All right, let's see here. All right. 16 ladders, three books. I'll take books. Red alloy wire, a hang glider, an extra hang glider. I already had, whoops, I already had my hang glider. I think it's still in, yep, there it is. Uh, more motors? I can't tell. I don't remember if that motor was there or not. I guess I'd have to go watch a replay to see if it was. Or three red alloy wires. I did see, notice that. Uh, more vacuum tubes, that'll work. More Steve's card stuff and another door for whatever reason. More of those guys. Oh, 15 cooked chicken, okay. Take that, a uh, bucket. Another dolly. Some obsidian and some leather. Uh, Let's see here. You guys can't go anywhere. None of you go in here. Okay. There we go. Those go in there. And can I do anything with the hang glider? Nope. Nothing at all. Let's see here then. That stuff away. Nope. They go in there. Tin cables go in there. There we go. Tin cables are worthwhile. Get rid of you, 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 and you. There we go. All right. Ten more. A bow and a coal engine. 
three diesel cells, I'll take those. Three more leather, four more leather, I'll definitely take that. Pressure plates and more glass. The fertilizer attachment for Steve's carts. Some charcoal, hamburger. Ooh, a red heart canister. Uh, those go here. Yeah. Definitely take that. Two more farm gearboxes and, ooh, 64 mining pipes. That'll work. Those can go in there. Let's see what else can go in here. All right. And then those. That. 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 Steve's carts can go away. All right. Very cool. So that was today's loot bag unboxing. I am putting some consideration towards um, taking these loot bags and then, well, I'm going to take these loot bags for these couple of other things that I have been working on. Um, but I am considering whether or not I should um, spend the necessary stuff in order to uh, upgrade them, the industrial diamonds. Unfortunately, to make industrial diamonds, I right now have to make the implosion compressor. And um, I've made the first four advanced circuits that you need to complete uh, this quest right down here. So I had made the uh, four advanced circuits, and the implosion compressor takes four advanced circuits. So I am considering... Uh, making this guy with it, um, working on the solid steel machine casing, working on the reinforced stone, and then taking those three right there in order to make this implosion compressor. Um, the rest of the stuff that it needs, I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look and see if those things can be any level or if they have to be HV. If they have to be HV, then... Uh, then I probably will uh, not be doing it uh, right away. It does give me two industrial diamonds, which could go towards those other, um, those other uh, uh, loot bags. Um, the alternative is the large steel boiler. Upgrading to this guy requires all four of those. So I may end up doing that just because um, I've got it set up underneath this uh, steel tank to... Uh, put to once I build uh, five more um, steam generators, uh, then I can have that run with all 15 of them, which will give you one LV uh, short of having a full four amp MV or just about a full one amp HV, uh, which would be very handy to have. Uh, but uh, that's something that I'll need to figure out at a later point. Um, until then, I think I'm going to just continue working on some of these machines, um, the fluid extractor, the fluid solidifier, the advanced centrifuge, the advanced compressor. Um, all of these guys give two electronic circuits, and with the exception of the advanced centrifuge needing four of them, um, the quests give back just as much as they need. Um, so it'll be nice to get uh, the extractor, the centrifuge, and the compressor done. Uh, but once I get to like the solidifier, uh, he doesn't give any. The uh, advanced chemical reactor doesn't give any. The chemical dehydrator just gives a loot bag. Um, these guys give the dense steel plates, which are nine steel plates. So that is 72 steel you're saving right there uh, by completing this guy. Uh, and then just more loot bags. And then I should try and make at least one of the advanced steam turbines just so that I'm sure there are quests that are hidden back here that I need to unlock. And I also want to start playing around with uh, the Ender IO stuff. So I'll probably be working on that as well. So that'll conclude today's video. I'm sorry it was nothing but loot bags, but I did want to go through them and see what kind of loot I would get um, since I found out that it requires other items in order to upgrade them. And so 
we will leave it at that in the next episode uh, I may have some of this stuff already built we'll see what happens the biggest thing for me right now is to get to these four MV combustion engines so that I don't have to run my EDF off of that stuff I can slap some uh, fluid tanks and have it pipe some diesel fuel around to those guys and then just work on making more diesel fuel that way maybe put some stock keepers on them to keep them stocked up full in which case I might just stick with say the MV fluid tanks so that I'm not hoarding a whole bunch of diesel inside of tanks that are only being used for the EVF although that would be nice simply because all that fuel would mean that I could smelt basically anything I needed to and uh, you know at basically any rate so we'll take a look at that in the future uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode till then <laughs>